So, who would you say got the best Jello fries? Who would y'all say got the best? I would say Gambia has the best, honestly, because we put in so much work, like, the rice, it's, it's just different, like, it's just different. It's just but then, um, that's what, that's where it really originated. Yeah. Yes. That's Jalaf, Wolof. That's yeah, Jalof, that's our language, yeah. Wolof. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's where it originated. So, so why do they call it Menachima instead of Jalof Um... I do not know. I honestly don't know because even in Senegal they call it um, chipen, chipu, something like that. Like theirs isn't benachin either. Like it's too different. Different. So I just feel like they named it benachin to be different. Gambians like to be different. So. Yeah, they speak patois in, in Gambia. Yeah. <laughs> I went. I did not know that. Um, my dad speaks French and Wolof. And then my grandma speaks um, Mandingo. So, that's all I know. Hey, bro. I mean, they can be loud. Can we hold it right there, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not the one talking. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Damn. You heard what you had? Yo, man, how is the promo? That's the food, you know? It's all right. You done already? Got <laughs> So let, let, let's start with Yomi. What's your favorite African dish to cook? What's your favorite African dish to cook? Mm, I don't have a favorite. Name one. The one that you enjoy more. cooking. Mm. Cause my boy can cook now. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Some more fada stew. Some fada stew? Yeah. What it's like it's like ayamache. What's the ingredient? Hmm. Some palm oil. Bell pepper, onion. Okay. You blend it. Take out the water. You know, um, get the palm. The palm oil, get it hot. Put some onions, some iru. You know. Uh, <laughs> you know, put the pepper in. Yeah, boil your meat. Some shaki, some beef. And um, I noticed you you cook a lot of egg with most of your dish. Eggs? Um, no, so a father in Aymash itself, eggs. you can put eggs in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's one of the dishes, though. I cook a lot of food in general. That should look good. Speaking of Jalaf. <laughs> Let's see. She, 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 about to, she about to, they about to try it. My boy over there got jollof. Mo, a little bit. Okay. So you got the jollof with what? Uh, the jollof with beef. I guess they put plantain. I didn't know it was gonna. Put, I, I, I like plantain though. So. What was that abachi? Hmm? What'd you say that was? Plantain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plantain and then beef. Who ain't no HD? What'd you order, man? I got the, I ordered the grilled tilapia. Okay, okay. It's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna take a little time to cook that, huh? <laughs> we have to shout out, first of all, we have to shout out the restaurant. Oh, yeah, definitely. 1738 in Powder Spring, your office here is James. Because, like, most places won't let you come in. To and Joe record, record facts. Do all this stuff. And not just that, but the food, like, the few times I've been here, the food, the food is really good. Yeah. The food is, like, I've been to African restaurants before. The, it's not just the food, but the environment and all of that stuff. It's clean, the servers and the, everything. It, everything looks right, so it's, it's definitely got some potential. And then, no, I'm not. I haven't been, but but this year, fast too is good. But um, yeah, and then moved in, moved in Melbourne, but. And um, you know, and sometimes you say um, you didn't mention that it took a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. It's made it fresh. Time. Yeah, it, it, the reason why it's taking time because they said it's made fresh. It's made to order, so right. they don't have your food already made already and they made. put it in a micro with nothing. Right. So it's fresh to order. So like we'll wait. We here, we having a good time anyway. So might as well wait for the food. Um, but they, I think, what they do here during the week, they they go from Monday to uh, to Thursday. 
they're closed at eight o'clock. Uh, no, at ten o'clock. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, they're closed at at one a.m. And they do like after it's done, they do like auto service and stuff like that. Right. For the live DJ, where, where, where the DJ is about to play now. So it's um, it's a. I, I think they've been here for like five months or so. So it, it's a it's a nice hideout in Powder Springs that we don't have this. There's not a lot of places like Powder Springs, Hiram, and, and there's a lot of Africans that live around this area too. So That's if true. anybody, yeah, if you know you in the area, 1738 right now, the food is good, the vibes is great, so it's the place to be if you're looking for something to do in the evening after work and shit. 1738, my boy over there jamming, man. I see you, guys. Yeah, the food is the food is really good. No, I, I ate some of the sweet. It was pretty good. Um, but I had a question for y'all. Have y'all seen any Afro artists in person? When the concerts? Both. I'm going up, David. Okay, I'll, I'll see you there. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. I was supposed to. It was supposed to be last year. Yeah. Circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. I'll be over there in full force. Okay. Got free parking at the at the stadium. Oh. You're going November 18th? Yeah, uh, hold on. I think, let me, let me check my ticket. Okay. <laughs> oh, they'll turn it off. What about you guys? Any Afro artists in person? Concerts? Pop-ups? Yeah, funny. I was the Rima one. Yeah, November 18th. I'm happy I didn't go. And he canceled it? Yeah. You were there for that? I was supposed to go. You were supposed to go? I was there. Yeah. How was that? How did, how did it feel? Okay, so first of all, I was fashionably late. Uh, the concert started at 8. I was there at 9.30. <laughs> Walked in. Uh, Vic Tony had already performed. He was gone. Who? Uh, Vic Tony. Oh. He came, performed, left. And everybody was just kind of listening to the music. But then the DJ started playing the same music. So they were like booing him. <laughs> they were trying to get the DJ to stop the music. So we waited about another 30 minutes. He came out, performed two songs, and said it was too hot, which it was. Like, there was no AC. They were handing out water, trying to open the door, but it was just too hot. There was no AC. So he was like, yeah, he came out in like a like a Nike sweat, like, you know, like the niggas, that, the people in New York, you wear like the Nike techs. Like, that's how he came out. Like, it was winter, but it was hot in their period. Like, people were sweating. Majority of the people had already left, so. Yeah. Like, what did he expect? I don't know what he expected, but honestly, I've been to the Tabernacle before. The AC was never, like, tripping like that. Like, it was cool, but it was OD hot in there. Like, there's hella people in there. There was no AC at all, no fans. So, I kind of understand, but, yeah. He still didn't give us a refund. Still waiting on that. Decided to put that out there. Yeah. Never got a refund. That, yeah. yeah, I gotta get that disputed, but I'll be at Davido. <laughs> yeah. I might go to Blue Mist with Yummy. Okay, we'll see. I don't know. Well, that's what we're that's what we're thinking. Well, how we feeling after we eat? Alright. Alright, we're coming there. We definitely go. I'm gonna go early though. I can't go that early. That, what do you mean not that early? That Blue Mist close at one. Wow. <laughs> That's the hour. Wow. <laughs> said, why? I don't know why. <laughs> That's when they close, so you can't go late. Just when niggas pop out. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Cause niggas, use it. niggas normally go over there and then go to another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Describe the, describe the suya for me. The suya, I had to say it was good. Good. One of the best suya I've had in a long, long time. Okay. It's soft. Uh huh. You know, very um tasty. Uh huh. You know, it's, it's spicy for one. Mm -hmm. You notice I eat the the little extra spice. Okay, does the I'm start sweating that? if I do. You start sweating? Yeah. Okay. It, the, the food is good. The, the food is good. good for sure. Okay. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, I think right now. So I've had soya from. I'm a soya. I'm a bit of a soya connoisseur. Right. If you ask me, like, there's been a, a, like a lot of. The suya places around Cobb County, Atlanta, and stuff. I had them, but this year when I, I had when the, the first time I had it, I said it. I'm like, this is probably the best suya in Atlanta. Oh yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's what I'm like. That's what I'm like. Yo, that's that's the first. That's what I said. I'm like the suya 
is why they, they beat everybody else when it comes to the suya. And then I had the grilled fish. The grilled fish is a bomb. Man, That's why I ordered again. The the grill, 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 Where's your grilled fish at, though, man? So here's the, here's the disclaimer. The grilled tilapia, it takes 45 minutes to because it's made from fresh. So it's not it's, it's not just the body talk Joe Gettys with his packet ass shit out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'ma eat it. No, I gotta eat it for the camera, so yeah, I'm eat it for the camera. camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah I am a I have it's to describe it. It's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the nickname, so we got to <laughs> yeah. so I'll eat it for the camera, but no. But so a lot of people for sure is good. And then uh, Yeah. I definitely appreciate y'all for coming. We got to. That's why like you gotta you have to like, shout out like African businesses like yeah, flip like yeah. this cause if I you like we should do this you, if you, a different scenery if you look at the uh, the population of like black folks in like Cobb fought in uh Cherokee or like the surrounding areas right a lot of us like if you it's probably like 50 50 like Africans to African Americans and stuff like that and like the so it's hella Nigerians, hella Gambians, hella Nigerians all over the place. So places like these here, you have to come through and experience it. Even if, even if you're not African, you know, if you, you like, you know, different cuisines and stuff like that, you got to come check it out. Yeah, so this shows that, Af that um, not Africa, but Powder Springs is on the map because now, we, when I grew up in Powder Springs. And you didn't see no damn like African restaurant, like you just pull up 10 minutes, 15 minutes from the crib and I'm going to go eat. You had to drive to like Atlanta and to get some African food, yep. so yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, is that the tilapia? That's the tilapia. It's Hold up, man, I got to put that in oh, HD. delicious. What? I got to put that in HD. HD. It's worth the way. I told you. Man. I get another one. Yeah. You need help with that, HD? You need help with that, man? I don't need no help. I can do bad all by myself. I want to say they present to you. That look good. Hold up, man. Let the camera know, man. And also, what inspired this tilapia, man? Hold on. What, let him know, bro. What inspired that tilapia? Hold on. That look good, man. So when I, the reason why the first time I try to tilapia, when I go places, I don't like being too adventurous when I go for the first time. So like I stuff that you play, that I play safe, like stuff that you can't get that wrong. So I'm like, you know what, tilapia, it feels like you can't mess that up so that, yeah. But when I tried it, I'm like, okay, this shit is really good. So that's why, that's why now I'm like, I got to highlight it. And it comes with it comes with veggies. I'm trying to lose my stomach. All the beer I be drinking, so it adds to it. So I gotta eat the veggies with it, and then the the, the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. What's that? They be fire yams. Oh. So oh, it's that French fry, honestly. It, it, technically, yeah. Yeah. There's fried yams with it, and then we got the dipping sauce there, and then the dipping sauce. You can use the fish with the dipping sauce and the fried yams, so. And the sauce, the sauce is the right amount of spicy. It's not overwhelming, so you're not going to be like, can't enjoy the food, but you're going to feel it a little bit. I might, I might break into it. So, AHD, so, mm -hmm. so after tasting this tilapia, mm -hmm. would you say this can rank up to your tilapia cooking skills. I don't. I wanna. I don't wanna come off as disrespectful to the Be disrespectful. Right, but I can cook. Okay. So I think like I don't think there's many things that's gonna come up to my tilapia. Yeah. And I'm willing. I'm willing to put it to the test. But this is really good. This is really good. Everybody shout out their YouTube, their um, Instagram. <coughs> My Instagram is abayomi4294. My shit is... Mine is... Georgie... Georgie Jeffwa. I-E-B-L-G-B-L-X-K underscore T-X-A-S-N-O. Follow me.
Follow me at it's really underscore mo. The O is a, a zero. So yeah. My Instagram is DSE New York D E S S E E N O I R E underscore underscore. My Instagram is simply underscore Savannah. Just two Y's at the end of simply and two H's at the end of Savannah. There you have it, man. Seventeen thirty-eight. Oh, so you need? So you ain't got no? I thought you had. You got somebody for me, but y'all right there. You see me look at this? You see me look at it? I'm like, y'all what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that's what. That's why you want it. You just want to congratulate me. Yeah. See, now I gotta put the fork down. So now I gotta put the fork down. I want y'all to do like a cook off for me. Make, yeah, I want everybody to, to cook jello rice and I want to taste everybody. Yeah, because if, look, I, I want to see who's, who's the best. I'm not gonna cook, I'm gonna get my mama to cook some shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> exactly. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, whoever, yes. That's well, what I'm do it however you please, but I want, I want to see, like, I want to put it to the test. I've never had Liberian food. I've, I've, had, I've had, um, Nigerian food. I've never had Sierra Leonean food. And I've never really had Gambian food besides the Jolo So I want to try. So can That's I put fair. you up on that challenge? Well, we make the best cassava leaf. That's for sure. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. Uh, make something, make something, something different. Yeah. yeah. Make everybody, okay, everybody makes something different. I mean, I, I don't know anybody who's doing one Because I'm not a piggy. I'm not. Look. I, I, like, I legit don't know who makes it. I think they call it something different, though, but I don't know who else makes it. You love, love cassava leaf. Yeah, cassava definitely. Now, look, I'm not a picky eater, but I am, like, big on texture. Like, um... I, can, I like it goosey, but I do not like okra I, I don't like it. It's, it's, it's not the taste, it's the texture. That's all it is for me. But I can eat just about anything. Okay. Sounds like you like it a lot, Nigerian dish. Yeah! I ain't got to say much there. That's what she's been exposed to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what it is. Early age. It's the best you'll know. Like, mm -hmm. you know you yeah. <laughs> yep, that is all thanks to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> That's Italian, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is Italian, but I mean, we make it. It's good. Yeah. Um, my, my favorite dish to make is chicken yasa. It's like Gambian grilled chicken with onions, but you make it into a sauce. Yeah. Put over rice. Yasa be my favorite thing to make, but right now I'm a big anime fan, so I'm in my like Korean dishes. So I'm obsessed with the ramen, obsessed with the kimbap. That's usually what I'll make. Bulgogi. Yeah, yeah. I like food, so I know all them shits. Hey, this guy's my country. Mm. I was doing one that day. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> you play the song? Yeah, I know this song. Yeah. It's definitely one song. What's his name? Huh? What's his name? The, the therapist. The therapist? Yeah. Oh, that's him right now. Oh. Free time, you that? Free time? Free time, roll. Uh, uh, the Independence Day. Yeah. I can't, it's not showing up. It's a hit. I had fun, I had a good time, even though I'm really nervous of being on camera, but I actually enjoyed this. It was a vibe, you know. I didn't expect to have fun like this, you know. Like, I thought it was just gonna be, you know, whatever. But y'all are really some cool people. I yeah. got your music. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I do. I can do both, but I mainly sing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna eat some of your suya. Yeah. I'm cool. I ate earlier than both. Me too. I be. I've been eating a lot lately, bro. I don't know why. I ain't fucking eating no meat too. Man, this was good. This was good. Seventeen thirty-eight. A ain't that the thing? Gucci. Ain't that the thing? What's new to say? For the what? Seventeen thirty-eight. HD. Man, 
man. This was this was a pleasure. I, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's find a new because the thing we can just go eat, film, have fun. You know what I mean? You know what we gotta turn that into? What? It is a free Hey, 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 hey. 1738. Yes, this place is located Powder Springs, Georgia. Oh my goodness, guys. Ah. Uh -uh. Make I speak for PGSF. This place is good. You hear me so? If you're there for around Powder Springs area, around Marietta, um, Austell, um, Kennesaw, um, Dallas, um, yes, this is definitely Atlanta because it's not too far from Atlanta because you know, before all this different establishments start opening around the surrounding areas, we all used to go to Atlanta to get a good, decent African food. But now there are a lot of, you know, establishment African restaurants around, you know it, um, Marietta, Kennesaw, you know, um, Powder Springs, where 1738 is located at. And this restaurant, I really enjoy this restaurant. It's nice, spacious. It's very, very clean, guys. The staff was awesome. Each and every one of the staff was awesome. Very nice, very attentive. You know, as soon as we walked in, we was greeted with such, you know, high regard, you know, and, and, and that's good. And sometimes as a consumer, you know, that's really what you want to see. And, um, you know, just the hospitality of the place. Um, very clean, I have to say that again, very clean. It was a vibe in there. You know, um, you know, um, 1738 Power Springs, Georgia. The food was awesome. Um, this was really just to just have fun, showcase their food, and 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 just have fun. You know, this wasn't a scripted video. It was just have fun, showcase the video. Um, but we all love the food. The food tastes tastes phenomenal. The food, food was awesome. It was. I was just excited as far as the professionalism that they display and the hospitality and gratitude that they showed us. It was definitely, uh, I felt at home. 1738, if you guys are within the surrounding areas, so 1738 is definitely a plus in my book, King Jabster. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Um, more content on the way like this and like and comment in the comment section below. Thank you.